This video shows how to install plumbing on a new NGC Scout 10 or Scout 100 system. When installing plumbing, tighten all fittings into their ports. First, you will be preparing the pump head washing system. Start by connecting the inlet line, labeled inlet, to the pump wash inlet port of system pump A, which is the leftmost bottom port. Set up a wash reservoir bottle and place to the side or top of the NGC. Fill the bottle with 20% isopropyl alcohol and cover with the lid. Insert the open end of the inlet line through the hole of the lid and immerse into the reservoir bottle. Next, attach the pump wash priming line to the system pump B wash outlet, rightmost bottom port. Connect a quarter 28 union to the second inlet line. You will use this as the outlet line for the pump washing system. Set this line aside as you will attach it to the priming line after the washing system has been primed. Attach the quarter 28 lure adapter onto a 30 mil syringe and then join this assembly to the priming line. Withdraw the syringe plunger until washing solution appears in the syringe. Detach the syringe and the adapter from the priming line and attach the outlet line with the union. Clean up any storage alcohol that may have spilled during priming. Place the end of the outlet line into the pump head wash reservoir. Now you will make tubing connections to the inject valve. Connect the waste lines to waste ports 1 and 2 on the inject valve and place the ends into the waste container. The waste container should be placed next to or below the NGC. Do not place the waste container on top of the NGC. Attach the injection port to the front of the inject valve. Attach the sample loop to the ports labeled loop E and loop F. Now you will attach the back pressure regulator. Connect line number two into the top of the conductivity monitor and then connect the other end into the 40 PSI back pressure regulator. The arrow on the body of the regulator should point in the direction of flow. Scout systems now require plumbing of the buffer blending valve and pH valve. Plumbing the buffer blending valve. Connect the inlet lines to ports Q1 through Q4 on the buffer blending valve. Place the open end of each line into its intended buffer bottle. Note, the buffer inlet lines are color-coded based on the solution that they represent. Refer to the NGC installation guide for more details. Next, attach line Q outlet to port A on the buffer blending valve and then attach the other end to the inlet manifold on pump A. Attach line Q outlet to port B on the buffer blending valve and then attach the other end to the inlet manifold on pump B. Securely tighten the fittings to ensure a proper seal and prevent buffer leaks. Plumbing the pH valve. Connect a priming line to the calibration inlet port, labeled Cal-In, on the pH valve. Connect the waste tubing to the calibration waste port, labeled Cal-Out, on the pH valve, and immerse the open end into a waste container. The waste container should be placed next to or below the NGC. Do not place the waste container on top of the NGC. Connect line number 2 from the 40 PSI back pressure regulator to the inlet port, labeled IN on the pH valve. Connect line number 4 to the outlet port, labeled OUT on the pH valve. Connect the other end of line number 4 into the common port on the biofrac diverter valve. Follow the instructions for the biofrac to complete its plumbing. 